Well, I'm sure you've noticed it's happened lightning fast. Las Vegas has become a sports town. It is happening. In case you need a little more proof, this Sunday at Allegiant Stadium, we are hosting the 2022 Pro Bowl. This is something that is uh, very cool, very cool. Lots of people in town to make this happen, Sean. Absolutely, including our next guest, Matt Shapiro. He's the NFL Vice President of Events Strategy, joining us now, talking Pro Bowl. How are you, sir? Hey. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. We're thrilled uh, thrilled to be here in Las Vegas and can't wait to get the week started. Well, we are really excited to have you. It's the 2022 Pro Bowl presented by Verizon. Like, I'm just thinking like where this city was seven years ago, 2015. We're not, we're not having a Pro Bowl here. We don't have any pro sports. And now here we are. We got the Raiders. We got Golden Knights. There's more and more excitement around sports in this town. And we got ourselves a Pro Bowl. This is kind of like almost a dry run for the Super Bowl that's coming in two years. Uh, tell us what you have up your sleeve for the, for the Pro Bowl. Yeah, we're incredibly excited about the Pro Bowl. And I think uh, even before the Super Bowl, which we can talk more about, the draft will be here in a couple of months as well. Yeah, that's is, right. Uh, one of our absolutely biggest events as well. So um, Las Vegas is an incredible place uh, for us to host events. It feels like we've been right at the goal line of hosting events here over the last couple of years. And due to COVID and a couple of other factors, we, we've had to we've had to wait. But we're we're so pumped to be here. It's it's the perfect location for the Pro Bowl. It blends a great fan experience with a great player experience. Everything we're doing at Las Vegas Ballpark and then Allegiant Stadium. So obviously the game on Sunday, which will be terrific. It's going to be just awesome. And Matt, I don't want to brag, but we. We do know how to host here in Las Vegas. So it's just sort of, it was like a matter of time before we became a sports town. Now you've worked for the NFL for a long time. Um, I think this, the Pro Bowl in particular, I think is kind of fascinating because it's, it's, I don't know, is it considered an honor to be part of it? You're, you're really nominated to yeah. be part of it, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's 88 of our best players voted on by the fans, but also their peers and coaches. So this is absolutely a celebration of the league's best players. And I think, um, Players really enjoy coming here. And again, being in Las Vegas, uh, certainly the fact that we have, I think, our fewest replacement players uh, as part of a Pro Bowl all the way going back into Hawaii uh, this year, I think is a testament to Las Vegas. It's a testament um, to, I think, the experience we've created for our players. And it's we're excited. The roster for this year's uh, game is incredible. We have a, a number of, obviously, the league's biggest stars, including some of the guys who played this past weekend in the championship games and then are, are coming out here, whether it's Patrick Mahomes or Debo Samuel. Um, the list goes on, but um, we're really excited to blend this event with this destination. Yeah, you sometimes, uh, just to let people know the replacement player thing, sometimes players get nominated, they get, get brought into the Pro Bowl, they're like, nah, you know what, I'm tired, and they don't end up going. This, The fact that there's not a lot of them this year is great. That's Vegas. We'll take the credit like, for it. Vegas? I love it. Yeah. It, it's awesome. Um, the, the new elements to the to the Pro Bowl this year. Uh, what, what do you have up your sleeve to kind of shake things up? Yeah, I mean, there are a number of different things. I, I do think it starts with the destination overall. So I think being in Las Vegas really breathes life into the event overall before we even get into some of the specifics of the week or the game. Uh, I am really excited about some of the things we're doing on game day. We're doing a, a new sort of charitable incentive program where the players um, will receive grant dollars for charities of their choice based on performance in the game, whether it's you know a touchdown oh. scored, an interception, the most passing yards, receiving okay. yards. So just trying to put a, a, a charitable spin on some of those elements. Uh, and then we're also uh, testing some rules changes in the game. So I think one of the things that we found to be really exciting and unique about the Pro Bowl is it can be used as a bit of that laboratory. So um, for fans who have followed some of these kind of competition committee proposals in the past, whether it's new ways to, to try out experimenting around an onside kick or it's um, overtime you know, new overtime potential yes. rules, yes. Um, use, using the Pro Bowl as a place to kind of make it a laboratory is a, I think a really unique opportunity. I love that. That's great. Well, we're going to tell people where to go. Uh, you know, there may be tickets still available. This all happens what Sunday at noon, uh, over at Allegiant. Um, they're looking down the road too. You mentioned the draft earlier. Uh, what do you see, uh, you know, for 2022? Yeah, it was such an interesting one. I mean, everyone remembers back in March of 2020, kind of what was going on in yeah. the world. And we were, you know, uh, not to use a football analogy, but I guess I will. We were, you know, right in the red zone, probably within the five yard line of, of putting that event on in March of 2020. The the, the draft, is, as you know, is supposed to be in April of 2020 here yeah. in Las Vegas. And we all had to, to pivot. Um, so I think a lot of those plans that we were so close to executing and so excited about will come back into play, whether it's the red carpet on the Bellagio or uh, the big draft stage in the Caesars Forum. Uh, parking lot area and the, the the draft experience there. But what I'm also excited about is we've learned a lot over the last couple of years, whether it's some of the virtual integrations. Obviously, we've all got used to these sort of virtual interviews <laughs> and being able to pull more prospects in and more 
people in from different parts. So I think being able to blend the plan that we were really close to executing and excited about in 2020 with some of those new elements is going to make this draft in Vegas uh, our, our best ever. I just got to make sure, is there, there going to be lifeguards at that red carpet on the Bellagio fountains? <laughs> we will. We will do everything with help. Right, there we go. Know. I just want to see them camped on either side of the red carpet. That'd be hilarious. Uh, it is great having you, my friend. We Good are so excited you, to have the NFL in town. We uh, honestly, you cannot find a more diverse group of NFL fans. Obviously, we get Raider fans here, but like people come from all over Melting the country to pot. live here. And there are so many different fans here. So it's really the perfect place for the Pro Bowl. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Sunday noon. It's the NFL Pro Bowl. I, I'm so excited that this is at our town. This I is know. It's at Allegiant Stadium. You want to learn more, you can go to NFL.com. It's right there. Or you can just watch it live on Sunday at noon right here on Channel 13. <laughs>